Hello everyone, so in today's video I will be showing you how to install kit in Windows 11 environment. So let's get to it. So to install kit in Windows 11 environment, all you have to do is open uh, your browser and go to kit. Just You can just type kit and uh, you should be able to see this page and uh, just click kit here and it will bring you to this home page. Um, with all of the information about kit and what we are interested in right now is uh, the download so we can go to the download section and uh, here we have a number of um, operating systems the one that we want to download for is Windows uh, so I'm going to click here uh, download for Windows and here um, you can choose which uh, PID you're using uh, for me I'm using a 64 bit so I'm going to click this so I'm just going to open this in a new tab uh, it doesn't matter really uh, it's going to just start downloading it so you can feel the progress here for the downloads and um, um, it's completed downloading now I want to show you a quick thing uh, before we proceed um, one way that you can check if you have kit installed in your Windows environment is by going to CMD uh, so basically just type CMD in your search bar and um, just click enter what we want to do is we want to check if we have kit currently installed in our Windows environment so to do that just type kit command and just click enter so you can see here it says it's not recognized that means that uh, kit is not installed so I just wanted to show you that before we proceed and I will show you after we install what uh, we will see here um, so let's go back to our downloads right here and what we want to do is we just want to open this so I'm going to click this um, to open the installation process and I will click yes here to prompt the installation um, and from here all you have to do is just click next and here it's going to install it in program program files and it will create a new folder called kit um, so that's why it's going to get installed so I'm going to create uh, click next um, I will leave these options checked I will click next um, and then click next uh, just keep this uh, informational um, just information that you can read through. I'm just going to keep the default really through this installation process. I'm not going to change anything so I'm just going to keep clicking next uh, and here the um, pull strategy here is fast forward or match. Yeah, I'll just basically leave everything default keep clicking next and then now I install this kit um, software in your environment so it will extract all of these files and install them into that um, location and we'll see what happens after it's done installing so it should be a fairly fast process really it should not take that long um, Okay, so it looks like it's done now. Uh, and you can choose which tab you want to do. You can fill the release notes. Um, I want to also launch Kitpatch. So Kitpatch is a command line tool also that comes with Kit when you install it. So you can choose to open this as well. So I'm going to open actually that one, that one as well. And this is the release notes and you can read it. Uh, you can read through it and all. Uh, so this is the kit patch that you can decide to use if you don't want to use a traditional uh, command line uh, tool in, 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 in Windows. So here you can type kit and you should be able to see the options. So that means that we have successfully installed kit here. Um, I normally don't use this that much. I like using the CMD uh, or PowerShell. Uh, so I'm going to close this and I am going to... We had this window open for command prompt. If you if you click it, it's not going to run because uh, we had this window open before we installed it. So you all, have, all you have to do is uh, basically close this and uh, open a new one uh, because um, 
this new one should be able to read if kit is now available and uh, just key, uh, do kit again okay, okay. So just do kit just kit command and uh, uh, here you go so you can see now that uh, we have kit uh, installed and working properly um, there are some other scenarios where if in case you do this and um, after you restart your window after installing kit and you still are not able to see uh, this uh, results here that means that you may have to add kit in your uh, environment variables so to do that you have to go to um, the location where we install kit so for us we install it in program files and you can see here this this folder here for kit uh, code installed here so just go in there and I believe it's inside the pin directory uh, that's where you have um, the kit located it's also inside CMD you can use it here as well you can see it here as well but I think for for our purposes it should be you can use this pin directory um, you can put two the both of them in your variables in case if you just want to be to be sure but I think uh, pin should be good enough so you can copy this just copy this part and then go to environment variables uh, and then click environment variables here and this is user part um, I think what will probably make sense is to make this uh, system wide so I will click but just double click it I'm not sure if it got added um, it looks like when we install it it got added automatically and it chose the CMD directory so if you don't see any of that here all you have to do is just add another just click new if you see that just click uh, so we go inside here and for us we have it added here that's why we are able to run that command for cmd the git command in cmd and it's running if we, if in your case you don't see it um you can just click new and just paste it here and click ok uh click ok and click ok and after you do that you have to restart again cmd and uh, just type git so it should be able to work after that um, if it doesn't just make sure that uh, the part is copied properly um, and uh, it, it, it most most of the time it should be able to work um, so that is it what I wanted to show in this video uh, just quickly how to install kit in your Windows 11 environment alright I hope that was helpful um, if you have not subscribed to the channel please take a second and click the subscribe button so that you can stay updated uh, whenever I release a new video